that. That might be why then. I've been chatting away to you all and realised that the bloody thing was on mute. Ha 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 ha! Oh, what a bloody wally. Oh well. So, what I have been saying to you all is this is a custom livery locomotive. Uh, the locos that we are that we can use for this Spirit of Steam update are uh, XLMS into BR liveries. I've decided that we're going to have some of them back in their LMS livery. So uh, this one is uh, is it five seven one two? The number I can't remember now. 5712 which is the victory I do have another one which is Nelson because I couldn't have uh, Nelson without having uh, his flagship victory so um, we've got a problem we're starting to lose power again uh, I'm doing fine thank you let me just uh I'm trying to figure out why we're losing power I know we're going uphill but we shouldn't be losing that much bloody speed like I say I'm only uh, I do remember who you are it's a flaming network just rebranded yourself <laughs> so yes we are losing quite a bit of power here so let's very slowly open the regulator again I thought it was what yes just drain the cylinders I, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just hoping for the best here right let's take it back down to 51 that's not at 51 no, that's at 50 that'll do right now we're rocking I think So our next station is Runcorn that we are going to be passing straight through. You've got a spirit of steam. <laughs> yes, the long lost channel of Welsh Hunter has been uh, quiet for quite some time, hasn't he? I do believe it's, he's uh, doing, well, he's, I think, by the, uh, from what I can gather, he's working all the hours that God sends with his new job. So, I don't think he has time for any YouTube or anything like that. I mean, to be fair, I haven't spoken to him for God knows how long. I speak to Jade quite often, but I haven't spoken to Josh for God knows how long. So... Well, I say I mean, not a proper conversation anyway. There's a few odd comments here and there on Facebook, but nothing, you know. Unfortunately, we're all just very busy nowadays with families and stuff and, you know, work and all this lot. It's, uh... I mean, I've got three kids. Josh has got half a million of them, you know. <laughs> We've both got uh, driving jobs, by the sounds. I think I think he's doing another driving job.
play about with the regulator. Well, I've got it on 50% at the minute, and it's on full throttle. So... Well, I've got a, a nice little chuff coming out there, so... What we'll do is... There we go, we'll do that one. Right, so, in amongst all of that, I've actually neglected the... Uh, what's coming up. So we've got a speed limit of 55 mile an hour coming up. Runcorn platform 2 is 0.8 miles away. So... Let's just put a little bit of brake on just to slow us down to that 55 if we can. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll give that a try in a minute. Nice thundering sound that. <laughs> what was that? I see ripples. Hey God, what was that? See ripples. One of that. What that Leander? I got to kidnap her and steal her numbers, nameplate, and tender. <laughs> Well, funnily enough, I was thinking about making Repulse next, or do doing the livery for Repulse next. Because basically, I I I've cheated. I've made a bog standard, or the, the basis of the LMS livery, and all I keep doing is just going on, making a name, and making a number, and sticking it where it should go, and then saving it. You know, but I've always got my original template there as well. You know, so I've really technically been I've been cheating. Let's get a bit of... Oh, no, we don't want a bit of brake on. We're coming into a 70 mile an hour limit, we should be fine. Right. Let me just... Have a look what you said there. So drop it into me again, take the rag off and put it at ten percent forward and then five to ten. Alright, hang on then. So let's try ten percent forward. Let's go twenty.
<laughs> yes, there was uh, a Jubilee class like what we're driving at the minute under the LMS livery of uh, Repulse or under the name of LMS on Repulse. Oh wow, that is a really loud chuffing sound. I see what you mean there. Um, there was also one of Leander as well, because obviously we had the Leander class frigates. I mean, there was quite a few HMS Leanders, but yes, we had Leander class frigates at one point, because uh, my dad served on a Leander class frigate called the Hermione. Well, it was HMS Hermione, but yeah, the Hermione. If you look at the Jubilee class um, locos, a lot of them, they have the names of ships, but also admirals as well. Because there was Nelson, so obviously Admiral Nelson, but there was the Nelson battleship, uh, excuse me, during the Second World War. Uh, there, what was the other one? Hood was um, First Viscount, First Viscount, somebody Hood. Um, a few ships named after that, most famous one being the Battle Cruiser Hood that was sunk by the Bismarck during the Second World War. Uh, there's Renown, Repulse, uh, Revenge, uh, Ajax, Achilles, Arethusa, there's, uh, there's all sorts. So, right, I need to be looking where I'm going, really. So yes, but uh, and let's say there's a few of the ships that are named after admirals as well, and you know, a few of the ships, no, a few of the trains that are named after the admirals as well. So, but I'm going to be making or doing the liveries for some that I like the names of. So. I will be doing a one for the hood or one for hood. What's that? Uh, I think there. I think there is one called Rodney, or was one called Rodney. Um, perhaps Flaming Network would be able to tell us. I'm sure there's a Rodney on there. But uh, yeah, oh the Rodney. Oh, that was a beautiful battleship. That was. I know the, the, the Royal Navy battleships during the Second World War, and quite equally so the battle cruisers as well. Oh, wow, they're just so good looking, it's unreal. I mean, HUD is absolutely gorgeous. You know. And equally so, you know, like the Bismarck and everything. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous looking ship, that. Gorgeous. 
you look at some of these ships and you look at them and you're like, yeah, the way they look, they mean business, you know. go Lord Nelson class was named Lord Rodney yeah <laughs> fair few ugly ships yeah I mean the Navy's new type 45s they're okay but um, they're not a patch on what my dad was on, which was the Type 42s destroyers. You know. But uh, they've got, uh, I think they've got a Type, is it, I think it's Type 36 frigates coming out now. And uh, the first one coming out is actually called the Glasgow, which um, serves a bit of a a thing with my dad because he was on HMS Glasgow the destroyer type 42 destroyer in the Falklands so so yeah so we're, we're, we're all quite excited that the name's coming back again and yes I can imagine up where, up where you are yes you will get to uh, Navy around your area quite often. Oh dear me. All right. Oh, it's just lovely looking that is. Do you know what? I've been waiting for this map so long waiting for steam trays to come out on this for so long it's unreal literally the day it came out I'm like right that's it I'm buying it oh Enterprise HMS Belfast I think is another type 26 uh, yes yeah, I can't remember if they were 36 or 26. Excuse me. Oh, sugar. I should have slowed down there. Oh, well. Let's try and... Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to derail here. That's a very sharp corner. Oh, I've got a... HMS Westminster. Um... Don't know what that one is, I'm afraid. Just bear with me one second. Type 23 frigate. All right. Did you know what? There's that many bloody names and everything that I know. I just forget which ones are which. But yeah, the last time I was in Portsmouth, uh, the uh, Queen Liz was in the carrier, and uh, we had a load of foreign warships coming in as well because there'd been some big NATO exercise out in the. Uh, out in the Solent or out in the English Channel so we had uh, a Canadian ship come in 
uh, Norwegian and uh, there was something else, another foreign one that came in I think it was a Spanish yeah Spanish one and uh, yes the victory oh the doorways are so small though aren't they you know now you've got that plaque on the deck as well. Nelson fell here. I'm not surprised. The fucking thing's about an inch and a half off the deck. He really tripped over the damn thing. You know. Right, so we've got to be careful here. So I'm coming up to Liverpool Lime Street. That is a gorgeous livery though. Yeah, I mean, I think I've done well with that. <laughs> I must say the doorways are so small though, aren't they? Last time I went on it, I was with my second ex-partner. And she could walk through the doors no problem. I had to bend double. You know. I do like the uh, the custom LMS livery that I've done there. If any of you that are watching do have this game, be sure to go on to the uh, the livery uh, the creators club, and if you can, I don't know, search Teb 1990 or something like that, and uh, you'll be able to see my liveries on there that I've done so far. Got some pretty decent ones, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that? Skip trial. Ah, oh, thanks. There. Uh, Liverpoolians, I like that. I was a bit too enthusiastic on the brake there. Right, there we go. I've just got to wait for it to click off. I was definitely a bit too enthusiastic on the brake there. Let's give her a helping hand. Oh, we've got a bit of wheel slip there. There yeah, we are, definitely moving forward. Well, do you know what? I'm late anyway. So, sod it. Ah, right, okay. Well, I remember that for that. I've got to still got to do a lot of the uh, tutorials and everything, so I'm sure eventually I'll be able to. Uh, navigate a steam train with uh, relative ease so we're coming into the station now let's see if I can hit it on the nose oh I've got to hit it on the nose because otherwise I'm in the bloody buffer stops
bit of wheel spin there. I'll tell you what, should we go up here and see if we can capture it? All right, ready, steady, and. <laughs> right let's pull into the station properly let's bring her all the way up here yes RMS Olympic I believe torpedoed by a U-boat, wasn't she? If I remember correctly. Or was that... that was, was that another one? I can't remember. There we go. We're there. And we are unlocking the right-hand side doors. Gently. <laughs> no. Thrash it. Thrash it. I think as soon as we finish this scenario here, I will be ending the stream. Because I need to get to bed because I have a bit of an early morning tomorrow. I've got to go and take a, uh, a vehicle back to uh, where we've borrowed it from. Why have I unlocked the left doors? I don't want to do that. Excuse me. Sam, 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 Sam. There we go, look at that. So yeah, I was very late. Very late indeed, but oh well. I still got a decent score for it. So there you go. There we go, guys. So, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this little live stream. Rest assured, there are some uh, pre-recorded videos of me doing the scenarios uh, coming in the, hopefully, the not-too-distant future. I'm just in the thing of editing them at the moment because um, as usual I like to do my little custom title sequence and all this lot and uh, this one is pretty special obviously with it being steam trains and everything but uh, um, I'm hoping that there will be more streams soon um, maybe there will definitely be some more train stuff might not necessarily be steam i might switch back to a diesel one here and there um there should be some farm stuff hopefully and uh, i'm sure i can find time to fit in a bit of warships as well because i do I, i've been playing that quite a bit uh, obviously not streaming it or anything like that i, I still enjoy it you know so uh Yes, yeah, so there will be more streams at some point coming soon. Um, like I say, and some more pre-recorded videos. Uh, there will also be some videos cropping up in the not-too-distant future of uh, some uh, bits and pieces that I uh, recorded whilst I was on holiday. Uh, I've just come back from today. Um, so we went to the Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre um, where I've been fortunate enough in the past to have a ride in the Lancaster Bomber, or a taxi ride in the Lancaster Bomber that's there. Um, so, uh, if I'm ever in the area, I always go and, you know, go and have a look around and everything, and just relive a, a childhood memory. 
you know, obviously I haven't been in it since, but, uh, but now they've got a mosquito there and everything. And we were there the other day and they had a big event going off. We had, uh, obviously the Lancaster doing the taxi runs, mosquito doing the taxi runs that, uh, a, a couple of tanks doing a live fire demonstration and to cap it all off. We had a flying display by a B-17 flying fortress. I've never seen one in real life. You know, not either on the ground or in the air. And I've only ever seen him in film, you know. And, uh, yeah, oh, it was fantastic. It's gorgeous aircraft. <laughs> you will get there one day. In fact, funnily enough, just before I do go, I was actually in um, Hina, uh, a little town in Derbyshire, a um, couple of a couple of week back. I think it was the last week. Yeah, it was last week. It was before I went on my holiday, and I just parked up on top of a hill, um, in between my deliveries and everything. I just got out of the van to go and have a, a quick vape and everything. Uh, just stood there, and I'm like, "What's that noise?" And I just turned around, and the Lancaster bomber came, you know, pretty much, you know, roof level. Yeah, across the houses, straight up, you know, over me and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I may or may not have been stood there shouting. <laughs> you know, getting a bit overexcited, we'll say. So, uh, yes. So, yes, I will end the stream there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned because there hopefully will be some more in the future. And uh, definitely some more pre-recorded videos. So, uh, ta-ta for now. <laughs>